Hi, I'm Mel Thomas, a member of Journey Writers, Inc. We are a safe and supportive space for writers and aspiring writers from all walks of life to share their work and receive constructive feedback. This year, we are pleased to offer some of our original works celebrating the strengths and triumphs of the LGBTQ plus community in conjunction with Hartford Pride Month. Tonight's staged reading is One Hot Night. Who would have thought that the revolution against bigotry, police brutality, and anti-LGBTQ rights would have begun that hot night at the Stonewall Inn? Who would have predicted the courage and unlikely heroes, including Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, victims of intolerance themselves. Now let's meet our cast. Journey Writers presents One Hot Night, written by Regina Dighton and performed by Leslie Bivens, Amara Osario Nin, Nadine Ruff, Carly Webb, Earl Gardner, and Liston Filial. Now, let's join our story on that historic night, hot summer night at the Stonewall Inn. is over. Yeah, theirs is over, so ours is just beginning. Everybody at the bar, hands and head on the bar. Come on now, Nelly. I know you can stretch wider than that. <laughs> I got the ones on the floor. Dancers, line up on the wall. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I got more to, to do than to chase after quiz. Now, you goddamn freak. You disgust me. You know that me and every other decent man and woman are disgusted by you. Ah, I might, I might. Damien, get over with. I got Muffy. You said what, you faggot? I got Muffy. <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, money. Can't even freaking talk straight. Get the hell out. Not yet. Against the wall. All of you. Oh. No, don't start giving. Oh. Keep. Oh. I was just checking the bathroom for sodomy, trying to add some more charges to those two, to these degenerates. And I found this one helping the Leslie's escape out a side door. Get off me. Get your hands off me. Get your motherfucking hands off me. Oh, you all just going to stand there and let them do this? Not me. I don't know about you, but I've been pig bashed one time too many. How about you? How about you, brothers and sisters? Damn, Skippy. Ten times too many. Didn't anybody ever teach you pigs not to flick your hands on a lady? But I guess, sister, I'm so glad you came to get me. I almost missed the revolution sleeping on the park bench. Our whole lives have led up to this moment, so let's move! Bar, fireman, bar! Pigs vote tonight! 
Don't ever call me back again. My name is Lisa. Don't ever call me back again. Miss Lisa to you. After we have been the ones getting locked up for all these weary years, we, our people, rose up. Praise Jesus. But es que mi abuela always said que I was possessed and needed exorcism. Well, I'm possessed, all right, possessed by revolution. Santo, santo, aleluya, señor. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I burned that motherfucker down. You ladies all right? You ladies all right? Did you get hurt? Oh, oh, call me. Oh, call me. Thank you. Call me for taking care of me. No one ever took care of me before I met you. Thank you, call me. I know you, call me. <sighs> I mean, I mean, really, how you doing? This was a lot. I'm worn out, but so hopeful. I see a bright future for you kids. I'm an old dyke. But you all have a long time to live better. Tonight was about tearing down the old power structure. Tomorrow has to be about building something new. I don't want to see one more gay child have to work these streets just for a sandwich and a cot like me and my sisters. It was terrible, a miracle. I got an ounce of sanity left. They call us sinners and abominations, but what kind of grandmother puts her granddaughter out on the street at 11 years old just for wearing girls' clothes. Hey, que how? Abuela, could you beat me and curse me day after day after night, shouting the name of Jesus? <sighs> I was so scared. I was scared all the time, at school, on the block, but worst of all, at home. <laughs> if you can even call it a home. I knew my mother and father didn't want me. Did they know before they first saw me that I was a little drag queen? Were they ashamed of me before I took my first step? And I never saw my father. Probably wasn't that deep on his part. Just another macho going around making babies, looking for another whore to make him more. And my mother? She was married to her needle. And I hoped and I prayed that my grandmother would love her funny little granddaughter. I tried to do everything to show her all the things that a senorita should. I would cook and I would clean and I would make the coffee early in the morning before she woke up. And all she noticed was what I was wearing or how I was holding my hands and my hips and my head. And she kept that chancleta flip-flop handy to smack whatever parts of me seemed out of compliance. And you know what? She was my last chance at a parent. I thought she was my last chance at a family until I met you all. Ugh. I thought that when I came here with nothing and slept in this very park on my first night, but I can't talk about scared. It ran all through me from my head to my stomach. It almost blew me to pieces. And no sign or assurance that the next moment would find me safe, unbruised and unbattered. Within the first few weeks, the only thing that I could count on was that grown men would come and do as they wished to me and give me as little as they could in return. <laughs> Honey, I'm talking about change. They will give me quarters to suck them off. <laughs> and these motherfuckers, they had cars, clothes, and jewelry like I'd only seen in magazines. Greedy and evil, yet they get to run things. 
show up on the block slumming on weekends and return to suburbia on Monday, but I get, I hated them. And that hatred, that hatred made me strong. It made me the strong sister that you know today. Of course I robbed them when I got the chance. They owed me a quarter, shit. Capitalist motherfucking pigs. And now, I wanna help build a home for kids like me, where they provide the food, clothing, and shelter, and don't ask for sex in return. A home where kids aren't getting beat and bruised for being who they are. A home where kids are told how beautiful they are. You, my Boricua sister, are so beautiful, head to toe, heart and soul. I couldn't have made it on these streets without you. I will work with you to build this revolution. This world needs to be turned 360 until it sees how beautiful we drag queens and kings are. They don't even know we human. So we can't wait on them or depend on them. We got to do this. And Jesus knows we can. If we made it this far, we can build a tower to heaven right here in the village. We know how it feels to be run over, stomped on, raped, beaten, thrown out. But we know how to come back and help one another up. Hell, we make lemonade out of piss. You know I got your back. <laughs> I help, I help with my New York Mavi. My New York partner too, Mavi. I'm in New Jersey all week. My boy here is my pimp, but I work for myself on the weekend. I come to the city, I have fun and make money for myself. And I always give some money to the kids on my bar so they don't have to profit to. Me and my sister Sheila tell them we'll kick that motherfucking ass if we get them selling those stuff or doing dope. I mean that shit. I mean that shit. I told them to ask me for money if they're hungry or something. But don't do what I'm doing so you can use my weekend money, okay? I gave that shit to the pigs today, but next week I'll be good. That's what we're going to do. It's what we're all going to have to do. Work a little overtime, baby, so that the babies don't have to do this kind of work. Yes. And that's the first part of my revolutionary vision. An end to child prostitution. Mm -hmm. I want to see my little queens practice putting on their makeup, doing their hair and nails all afternoon while eating sandwiches and chips and studying, mm -hmm. getting a good education. I want them to learn true history and become blossoming revolutionaries. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I can't help but praise him. He brought me from a mighty How? long way. How? How can you? Why you think, Jesus? You all confuse me. Didn't your church tell you we was all hellbound sinners, revolution in God? How you managed to put those two together? Ain't gonna let no man separate me from God, and you shouldn't either. They used to call me the sanctified sissy, and that I'll just be. Whoever said the power structure was right about religion, we know they're wrong about everything else. The God I served said, blessed are the drag queens, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed all the drag queens, for this is the kingdom of heaven. He blessed the poor and told us all to feed his sheep. Now think about it. Just think about it. Who is more poor, oppressed, and righteous than a streetwalker transvestites and our people? Yet we go out and help whoever we can every day. You, Stormé, are blessed for guarding the fam, lesbians, and us queens while we're out on the street. You know, the power structure hated Jesus, killed him, but he bounced back. He gave that bounce back resurrection power to us. Holy Ghost power brings me back from every attack, and I'm lifted by transvestite hands. Hey, trans hands. <laughs> Miss Lisa, we ought to write a song about that one day. Trans hands lift me up by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Trent hands lifted me up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now let's stand before God in the spirit of all our revolutionary ancestors and vow to make tonight's dream a reality. I pronounce that I never hear the word faggot again without interrupting. Anybody who said to me or anybody, I promise my weekend also money to the revolution. I promise to continue guarding my community. I promise to organize more butchers to guard the femmes and the queens. I promise a day's pay to the revolution we building tonight. I don't know how, but I promise to make a home for our youth. I promise to feed them and teach them. And I know God will lead us in building that home, my sister. And I promise to be by all your sides working to build that better place for our children and all the street people. I promise to pray every minute of every day as I do my work and even as we party. Party and pray. Now that's the God I serve. What you gonna do? 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 To learn more about Journey Riders, our workshops, performances, and some of our members' work, go to journeywriters.org or go directly to the Journey Riders, Inc. YouTube page. To support programs like these and all of our works in support of writers and writing, make a tax-deductible donation to Journey Riders on our webpage. We'd like to thank our sponsors for this Hartford Pride Month series, the Hartford Pride Committee, Kamara's Cultural Corner, and the Free Center. Thank you.